Okay, I have all my little pieces rolled into balls. What you do to make a bow, in case you haven't seen my other videos, you just flatten it, pinch one side and push the other, and then do it again. So you're left with this triangle shape. Again, take the ball and flatten it, pinch one side and push in and then flatten it again and you have the triangle. And you want to do that with two more pieces to form the other bow. Okay. So to join these, I just like to take this tool here. This is just a store-bought tool. You can use a toothpick. Join two of the triangles at the point and just sort of press down. Like that. And then just add the dot in the middle with another clay ball. And that's your bow. Before I make the little indents, um, I'm going to go ahead and put it on the donut. What I like to do, just to make sure that it doesn't come off when I bake it, is sort of scuff up the back and then apply it. so that it doesn't come off. And repeat this with the other side. Oops. Let's go up the back. This just ensures that the flat surface of the clay doesn't break off. Okay, there's the bows. And to make the little indents, you just take whatever tool you're using and press into the clay like that. Okay, now if you're wanting to make this into a charm, you're going to need an eye pin. I have one here. So go ahead and put that in before you bake it. I like to put it, you know, kind of sideways, that way you can't see the tip of it through the hole in case it's too long. So go ahead and bake this following the instructions on your package. I'm going to go ahead and bake this and I will see you in 15 minutes to finish the ruby slippers. Okay, it's been 15 minutes and my charm is baked. I'm going to show you how to do the ruby slippers. You're going to need a glaze of your choice. This is triple thick. It's my favorite. And you need a paintbrush. And red glitter. I also like to put this down on some paper. You know, when you shake the glitter, it, it won't go everywhere. So just take some of your glaze on your brush and sort of figure out where you want your ruby slippers to be on the donut. So I like it to be halfway up the blue so you can still see the blue under the donut hole. So, And then I glaze down. I, I usually glaze the whole donut except the base, but I'm just going to show you how to do the slippers right now. So I just fill in that whole part with glaze. If you don't have glaze, you don't usually glaze your charms, you could just use like glue or something, that would be fine. So just try to be neat with this. Okay, you can see that I have the glaze halfway 
up the blue part of the donut. Now it is glitter time. If I could find where I put my glitter. Okay, just go ahead and take your glitter and just shake it onto the glaze. of the hair, if it got on the hair. So, just clean this glitter off of the sides and this is what it should look like when it's done. Dorothy with ruby slippers. So, please watch the rest of my tutorials coming up. I'm going to show you how to make the rest of these characters for my whole set. And thank you so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.